Hey guys, Marco of Mac Motions Film. I'm here with my Canon 6D camera, and today we're going to be looking at some of the footage that I went out to shoot using Magic Lantern's RAW Movie Record Mode. Now, if you're not familiar with it already, Magic Lantern is a group of people who developed this software, this new software for the Canon DSLR cameras, uh, better suited for the video filmmakers out there. Now, a lot of benefits come from this software, such as audio level, metering, uh, histograms, um, crop marks addition, whole ton of features that I don't even haven't even used yet. So it's definitely a plus. But the main one that we're talking about today is a raw record movie mode. That means the camera will shoot video uh, 30 frames a second with the raw settings that the pictures usually are taken with. No audio can be recorded with it, so haven't actually figured that part out as I just downloaded it today. Anyway, we're going to be looking at some of the footage. I went out to the lake here in Oakland, uh, that's Grand Merritt Lake, and shot different scenic uh, angles here. So the first up that we're looking at is I found this little arch uh, with pillars. Um, I decided to have this as a great comparison shot. Now here we look at the footage um, and off the bat I was like okay this is really nice. So then uh, I switched over to the raw mode that I shot and off the bat I was I was amazed because I can see a whole lot of more uh, detail in the water. In the actual lake I can see the ripples and everything just looks more crisp. Notice on the top left, I'm gonna back it up here, notice on the top left you can actually see the ripples reflecting. Now if I go back to the first shot you, you can see it if you look for it but you don't really notice it pop until you see the raw the raw recording. Now looking at a different zoomed in angle HD looks great and everything and here comes the new raw and Wow, everything just looks more sharp. Now let's let's focus on the difference between these chains and the background, and the water. I'm gonna go to this first clip and it's sort of blurry, it kinda looks blurry. My focusing was set on the buildings in the back, in the middle, but when you switch over you can see a major contrast difference. But you still retain all the information. Now it's really important to note that when I brought these files into my computer, I did have to do a few minor tweaks to get both clips looking the same only because I wasn't aware that when you shoot in this raw video mode it bypasses or I believe it does I believe it bypasses uh, the low light compensation mode and what I believe it does is kind of reset your white balance because when I brought him into Lightroom uh, the white balance was off I had to try my best to compensate to get it back looking the way it is now moving forward again the detail I see will be noticed from the ripples in the water since they are so far. But here in this shot we can see that some of the reflection is much more pronounced. Um, also the colors seem to be much more intact with what I was originally seeing out in, out in the field. Moving on, this last shot, the reflection of the sun was really overexposed, but the thing is with these raw is that you have raw controls. I I didn't do anything when I brought this into Lightroom. What you're looking at is just me bringing in a raw file into Lightroom and adjusting the white balance only to match the other one which was just to match the normal white balance. But my next video what I think I'll do is take some of these clips and show you what a processed raw file, you know, messing with the clarity, changing the contrast, playing with the colors. I'm able I'm going to be able to make a whole lot of new changes and still retain a lot of the detail. That's what I really like about the raw shooting. Now there are negative sides to it. Um, I guess there's no there's no way to record audio yet. So gonna have to figure that out. Uh, so far I've been following a few people on on YouTube and you know I recently picked up this camera, did a little research on the forums and found a few people who are who have posted a method to install Magic Lantern on the Canon 6D so it is possible and as you see I've been shooting with it um, hopefully some of these bugs get fixed um, such as the white balance that could be user error but as far as I know um, there would have been no way for me to tell um, but in conclusion I'd like to see more of where this goes hopefully it becomes a lot smoother as I don't like shooting with the crop but hopefully you guys found this useful and indeed the 6D does record raw. Alright, take care guys. Catch you later.